blessed day people this is Patrick Marcelino live from St. Martin for goingnatural.com like I said I'm Patrick Marcelino 27 years old right now living in the Caribbean um, about to go back to New York and after that I go on back to Holland so I'm always traveling so yeah um, I'm a model I'm an actor um, owner and creator of clothing brand Abelia clothing um, I'm a creative person I play percussion I rap I sing um, I paint I draw um, I play capoeira, I like to keep my body fit and healthy, love my hair. So first of all, I want to thank Going Natural for choosing me to do this interview with. Um, they asked me to answer a few questions, so let's go. Well, my goal as a model always basically has been to inspire others. Because people always told me like, yo, you got to cut your locks, you got to cut your beard. Um, black people are not really being accepted in the modeling industry and et cetera, et cetera. I wanted to prove that, uh, that, they, are, that, were, that they were wrong, you know, like uh, a few years later, they could see me at the biggest shows in the world, opening New York Fashion Week, opening LA Fashion Week, opening Mercedes-Benz Fashion Weeks, you know, uh, all over the place, all over the world, and in the same time, I'm just trying to exp uh, inspire other people who, you know, especially, especially, especially black people who um, still believe that it's uh, that they are not accepted in the game. Um, yeah, I want to give them that hope, you know, like for the people, you know, for the people that 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 have that feeling, like yo. It, I can't do it or whatever, you know, I just want to inspire them, you know, I just want to inspire them and show them like, hey, it is possible, whatever you want to do in life, you can do it. Um, the best shoot that I had, um, wow, wow, mm. that's a difficult question. <laughs> um, no, 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 that's not a difficult question, that was with no doubt uh, the shoot in Jamaica where I had to play Adam. Uh, it was an Adam and Eve shoot. Uh, they flew me out to Jamaica, somewhere in the mountains, in the rivers. That was mad dope. Come on, man. That's like, <laughs> that's life right there. <laughs> where do I see myself as a model in five years? Um, I see myself as a model in five years. Um, Traveling the world doing shoots all of just the most amazing shoots all over the world the most inspiring shoots like the dopest concepts like Not only modeling, but especially also acting because that's like something that I really like like I really like to you know go into Jesus Christ is really hot um, Yeah, I like the acting more because I can get more into a role, you know modeling is very static and you know like yeah and in five years, um, you know, I'm still doing the modeling, but you know, like my clothing brand is already up by that time. It's a big thing. And, you know, I don't really have to focus on that too much anymore in the modeling, you know, like, it's just a thing, it's just gonna be a thing on the side. And I will have models myself, you know, modeling my clothing. <laughs> Me. Yeah, definitely is important to me. Like it's, it, 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 it defines who I am. Like you know, like it's, it's, it's part of my DNA. It's part of who I, you know, what I look like. It's part of how people recognize me. It's part of, um, it's part of a uh, creation of God. You know, like you, you, you were born and you got hair. Yeah, nobody told you to cut it. Like, which animal cuts his hair? Like. Did I ever use any chemicals? Nah. Well, I used some chemicals, of course. Like, you know, some gels, some wax, some all this kind of nonsense, you know, but I never curled my hair, I never colored my hair, I never straightened my hair. Um, this is the second time that I got locks in my life. Um, before that, I was always like the Afro guy, always had a big Afro or had my hair braided or at a certain point, like, started cutting my hair I was you could find me at the barber shop every every week I don't know it's just part of nature is what God gave me like how can I not love it like it's just important it's how I connect to myself nah 
Nah, nah. I was never ashamed of my hair, never. Like, if you see my pictures when I was like a little kid, I, nobody could touch my hair. My mother couldn't even touch my hair. Like, I loved it to be afro, nappy, all, you know, what they say is like ugly. Yeah, well, that's what I love. So I was the weird kid back in the days. <laughs> yeah. Um, if I think that other guys would have more chance, well, hell no. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think so. Uh, my father always teach me it's not about how you look or whatever, what you got. It's about game, boy. <laughs> so, yeah, nah, I, I never felt a way about that. Oh, my God, I knew that this question would come. Ah, oh, Lord. Um... I knew that this question would come because it really bothers me, you know, like um, women with weaves and the big turn off, like it's just a big turn off. Um, and am I a hypocrite saying that? Uh, because I've dated many girls that had weave or I was messing around with somebody that had weave or I don't know, man, I don't know. I just. I just know for myself that when a woman has natural hair, that really makes my heart beat. And it does not make my heart stop beating, you know. Um, if, you, if you're wearing a weave and things, like I'm, I'm very quick um, done with just liking to look at you. Well, you know, you got to switch it up sometimes to some natural stuff to keep my attention, you know, because you will lose me. It's, it's, I don't know, I don't know even why that is because I'm very somebody that falls for intelligence and, and the inner person instead of the outside, but still, you know, like, it just kills the whole vibe. It's just, you know, like, I don't know. I think that if you are at a certain point of knowledge and a certain point of understanding that you won't even do that anymore, like, Yeah, I don't know, like, it just don't make no sense to me. It just don't, does not make any sense of wearing weaves, wigs, or it just don't make no sense to me. I'm sorry. Not at all. Not at all. It doesn't matter. As long as it's real, as long as it's yours, as long as it's, you know, something that you are proud of, and not know some dead Indian woman's hair that looks like a dead cat so you can play the freak show looking like a, you know, like a Caucasian woman or whatever. I don't know, I don't even want to say that, you know, because some women don't think like that, but... Jeez. Nah, it, 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 it doesn't make any difference to me. I, I, you know, just wear your own hair. That's, that's all I'm asking. <laughs> Um, yeah, I heard it many times that women hesitate because, you know, they say that black men don't like their hair. Karen, why do, why do black men don't like uh, natural hair? Natural, some of them like natural hair. You see, it's not all men, no, not you know. Some like, some like a natural girl. You see? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that these men that, you know, don't like natural hair they don't love their mothers they don't love their aunties they don't love their grandmothers they don't love their ancestors like yo if you was a black man and you don't love and you don't love natural hair on a woman you got a problem i think you you have been watching too much movies you have been watching too much i don't know but that don't make no sense for real women do not hesitate to go natural i love it me together with many 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 other black men I really that's my biggest that's one of my biggest wishes self you know like that women black women just believe and know that they are beautiful with their natural hair that's like uh, come back home ladies <laughs> No, I can't really not relate to this point. Um, I grew, my mother grew me up. Like, my mother is white. My dad is black. Black is the night. And my mom's always teach me that 
everything about me, how it is, is beautiful. And that's the same thing that I was looking in in other women, that self-love, and that's what I love, you know? Like, I don't, I didn't like straightened hair or something like that before. I, I don't know, I never, I just never went with the hype. I just, you know, I was always focused on what, what I was teaching, you know, so, yeah. I can't really relate. Is black hair an issue? I think that's a stupid question. I really think that's a stupid question. How can there be an issue about black hair? It's the best hair there is. There is no stronger hair. There is no more melanated hair. There is no more carbonated hair. There is there is no stronger hair, no more hair that is more in contact with the universe than black hair. What are we talking about? Is there an issue? I think the person who thinks that there is an issue with black hair has an issue with itself. What do I think about the movement? Awesome, awesome. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> no, especially, you know, if you look at how people, how conscious people were about their hair like five years ago and how much they are conscious about their hair right now, I think we made a big jump in progress because a lot of times um, when women learn about their hair, they also start to study uh, and get more interested about everything else, everything else of our culture, of our people. and. Um, yeah, I think it's a very good thing. It's a very good thing. Uh, I love you. <laughs> I really do. Thanks for being here. We men gotta understand that Y'all the real gods. <laughs> and love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, you can't love nobody else. I love you. <laughs> I share.